Tonight we're dining at Ikoi, one of London's buzziest restaurants. Chef Jeremy Chan's cooking is inspired by the bold, punchy flavors of Africa, Asia, and beyond, but he uses local, seasonal British ingredients. This year, Okoye climbed onto the 50 best list for the first time. It's currently ranked number 49. It's a big year for the restaurant. They also received two Michelin stars. My name is Jeremy Chan, and this is Restaurant Okoye. I felt this pressure because I started cooking quite late. I felt like it was late, but really it's not that late, 26. But I felt this great pressure to um, prove myself and kind of catch up um, with some of the other chefs that I'd met who were much younger than me, but far more capable than me. I grew up in Hong Kong. You know, I was exposed to incredible food. Cantonese cuisine is one of the best cuisines on the planet. And I think the food that we cook here is extremely influenced by Cantonese cuisine. So I say like my, my childhood, of, you know, Having family dim sum in Hong Kong is a huge influence on this style of menu, which is generous, spicy, sweet, sour. It's, there's a sense of celebration in every dish. My very close and old friend, Ire, he's, he's from Lagos, Nigeria. He asked me to open a restaurant with him when I was unemployed and I actually never wanted to work in a kitchen again. I, was, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. But then this opportunity to build my own world and create my own vision was unique to be able to do it with my friend. So you got, this is a, a dumpling, you call it moin moin, like an interpretation of a Nigerian uh, steamed uh, bean dumpling. But Mars is more of a uh, souffle. We use turbot collar, so it's like a turbot collar souffle dumpling with uh, organic spring onion and summer squash. And then we finish it with a roasted pine nut milk and fresh pressed pine nut milk. We came up with the name Ikoi because we just liked the way it sounded and we created a logo and a symbol for the restaurant which is named after Iria's birthplace. We are here only because this is the, this is the only space that agreed to uh, uh, a viewing and this great landlord that we work with gave us a shot but we were two friends with no experience, wandering from door to door looking for a restaurant space. It wasn't that easy, it was like everyone said no. We went to maybe 30 landlords and they all said no. It's actually quite a commercial part of London. It's not cool, it's not, it's not really anything. It's sort of, I feel like it's like no man's land, Piccadilly, like Londoners don't come here. But for me that makes it kind of cool and it reflects the like, fact that this restaurant is a cultural satellite you know, people from all over the world passing through. This is um, confit with limousine veal sweet bread. And you've got a sauce of apricots, horseradish and onions. And then we brush it with something we call buffalo sauce. Tastes like buffalo fried chicken and uh, caviar. The plantain is like the symbol for our kitchen because the plantain has been refined in the way that we've been learning and getting better as chef. We're always improving on it. I'm still excited to serve that dish. It's plantain with um, an emulsion of burnt onions, smoked scotch bonnet chili and roasted kelp. And then we, we serve the plantain with um, dried salted blackberry on top. So it's got a bit of everything, sour, sweet, smoky, um, salty. Ikoi is my interpretation of uh, seasonality through our love of, of, of spice and bold heat. Minimalist but, but warm kind of aesthetic that we have which is very much to do with colour and vibrancy and expressing the, like, the intensity of, 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 of produce in its best form. It doesn't really have any kind of specific cultural uh, specificity to Nigerian food or any other food. It's, I think of it as kind of deculturalized. native lobster, 
sun gold tomatoes on a smoked haddock piece with cinnamon basil. It's baked lobster head with fondue of dark beer and uh, aged cow's cheese. It's basically cheese whiz. It's, it's like a cheese sauce, but it has this incredible elasticity to it. It's very savory, like bitter, umami cheese sauce. And then we serve it inside a crepe with Scottish mushrooms and the lobster head, which we bake all day with a lot of garlic and ginger and spices. And then we pull all the meat out from the head and we pass it to make this incredible paste. It's almost like satay or curry or like a Thai curry paste, but just unbelievable savory lobster flavor from the head. And we mix that with the cheese and the mushrooms, truffles and burnt honey. But one of the specialities of Ikoi is beef. It's actually a beef restaurant. We work with this farm, farmer butcher in Cornwall called Philip Warren. And for me, they produce the best beef in the world. British beef it has character, it's grass fed, so it has a sweetness to it, it has more texture. It's my favorite cut, it's called the deckel mussel. It's a thin strip of mussel outside of the ribeye before the cat. And we like to cook it more well done because if it's too rare, it's got this sort of chewy, like fleshiness to it. And we serve it with um, hand dive scallops and saffron, onion, buttermilk emulsion, and a spring green sauce, which is all the greens that we get from one of the farms we work with, and caramelized onions and cashew butter. So there's like layers of umami and sweetness and freshness with this very sweet, tasty beef. One of our signature dishes, which is our smoked rice, it's toasted, uh, jasmine rice, which we steamed in a smoked vegetable broth, burnt peppers, chilies, tomatoes, seasonal vegetables. And then we blend that with um, like a, a mushroom stock to make this really smoky, like peppery broth. We steam the rice in that, and then it's toasted with um, some aged beef fat. And then we glaze it with uh, creme anglaise made with crab brains. So I love this dish because it's, it's basically like fried rice and a risotto. I think you, when you come to Ikoi, it's like, hopefully we've built a reputation now for being like a movie director. Like this director produces great films. So let's go see his latest film. That's kind of what I want people to think of when they come here. They just have faith in that the filmmaker is going to make something artistic and beautiful. And maybe there'll be things not to their liking, but we don't make things here that are challenging from a taste perspective. We make them always with the aim of being delicious and comforting. We think about the flavor, it has to be satisfying, it has to be comforting. I think that's the basis of a great meal is that it's delicious, so yeah. It's like peanut butter and jelly. I like pistachio and that and jelly. Very good. If you like our work, support us on Patreon, where we also have a food community called The Hungries. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more food and travel videos. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Andrews Husa and Carnivore. Thanks for watching!